It's a pin with a couple beads on it. So, these are really nice pins for jewelry making. I got them in the jewelry department. Uh, Joann's, Michael's, all sorts of stores. Don't get these. They're made for jewelry making and they bend. They're supposed to bend because you're supposed to be able to, 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 to bend a loop in them with your, uh, with your, your pliers. And, but you don't want that. So what does work? Went to the hardware store. They call these eustachian pins, maybe they're brads. 18 by one inch. That Eighteen means the wire gauge, how thick the wire is. If you go to a seventeen or a sixteen, it's a, uh, it's thicker wire. That's too thick. If you could get a nineteen, it would be super. Got these. These are what? These are dressmaker pins, and these are twenty gauge, not eighteen. So one of the things I'm going to show you is the difference in the head size. That's really important. You see the difference in those? Okay, we got the dressmaker. Uh, I'm reading the dressmaker pin. That's the skinny one. That's 20 gauge. The eustachian pin, it's 18 gauge. See how much difference there is? Now look at the difference in the head size. So what does that mean? I'm going to show you with a couple of beads here. If I want to tie a small balanced leech, if I want to use an eighth inch bead, it will just barely fit eighth inch bead on 18 gauge and the head seems a little large now let's see how it works with the 20 gauge that's a little bit nicer a uh, 5 30 seconds bead let's see how that works okay 5 30 second we're still in business and that actually kind of hides the head in there. Uh, so 530 seconds is fine. Let's try 316th. Guess what? So 316th, it does work. Okay. Go show how much I know. I, I thought these bigger beads were going to come right off the end. But they don't seem to. So, but I think when you're using a bigger bead, I think that the 18 gauge just works better. You're going to be using it on a bigger hook. Um, I, think the, I think the 18 gauge is good for bigger beads, and I think the 20 gauge is uh, maybe right for 5 30 seconds down. And if you go down to a bead that's smaller, if you go down to a 764th, for a very small balanced leech, you need this 20 gauge. Uh, so I hope this has been helpful. 20 gauge, 18 gauge. Smaller head, bigger head. Uh, both of these uh, are very firm. Neither one will bend. Uh, have fun tying your balanced leeches and minnows and I hope you get a chance to get out there. That it makes kind of a nice effect to combine a, uh, a bead with a, a, a metallic bead with a glass bead. And one of the things you'll notice is that, so for sure when you use the glass beads, you're okay with the 20 gauge. Uh, the wire diameter is fine and so is the head size. 
So um, I hope this at least lets you narrow things down a little bit. Um, dressmaker pins and eustachian pins. Um, make sure you, you're not using the jewelry pins because they're going to be too bendy and flexible.